Hello everyone, it's me Alvaro again, back here to show you how to go back to Tizen after installing Android Wear OS. So I've got a lot of comments about people that don't really like the OS or want to go back for any reason. So I've already showed you what works and what doesn't up here. Uh, also how to install up here now. Um, now I'm going to show you how to restore back to Tizen. It's really, really easy. So as always, the first thing we will do is download some files to our computer. So check the links in the description. Okay, so this time it's really easy. The only files you will need is these two. Uh, we need a recovery file and the Odin 3.09. Uh, which you can find in the description as always and be careful this one the recovery file is quite heavy 500 and something megabytes so it will it might take a long time and take your while now let's put our device in download mode so remember putting your device into download mode is really easy just hold the power button until you get into the rebooting screen right here now click several times until the bootloader menu and click once to download and now hold to boot into download okay so now we're in download installing will be pretty straightforward please uh, make sure your drivers are installed and once you make sure they are installed we're going to go ahead and open Odin You must click yes here, and once Odin finishes launching, you will see that we must have this added sign over here in the text. Um, when we have it, we click on IP, and we will select our recovery file we downloaded earlier. Once it's selected, as always, we must have auto reboot selected repartition not selected and this one also must be selected we start it and we just have to wait Okay, so now that the flashing is finished, you will notice your device will reboot. Um, now that the re device is rebooting, it will ugh, it will actually fail to boot. Um, it will just like stay black. Let's wait for a few seconds just to check that it's it's actually just a black screen. It will reboot several times until you get a final black screen. It will fa fail to boot. So now that the, now that it has failed, you will hold again to go into the bootloader. Now tap and select recovery. That is ah oh, sorry for that. I misclicked so we go into bootloader and we select recovery that is just under download okay so now after some rebooting it should boot perfectly into Tizen
yep, here we go. So, well, yeah, we will notice my device is in Spanish because I bought it in Mexico. Uh, so, yeah, next. Now it's time to connect to the f phone or tablet in my case. So right now, uh, connecting is pretty straightforward. We just need to download the appropriate app. Wait for it to install. Great. Now let's open the app. Okay, so apparently I have to click here. So it connects to the device it already remembers. Great, yeah, apparently it found it. Now I got the request. You have to accept on both devices, and right now it's connecting. Awesome. So that's it for my video of restoring the Gear 2 Neo to Tizen OS. I hope you liked it. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment if you need more help, and well, I hope it was helpful, and good luck.